Welcome back to the farm, everyone. We have been making some major progress on our property. Um, we got a greenhouse going up. We got a wood burning stove in with some firewood stack. And another thing that we have been working on and trying to get done is a new goat paddock. We had a company by the name of Soft Fork Custom Fencing come through and they uh, actually tamped our eight inch, eight, eight inch by eight feet post into the ground for us, which resolved my back issues, but also um, it made it so we didn't have to utilize any concrete uh, because these are just driven right directly into the ground. It was actually a pretty cool process. Uh, was a team of three came out, came and they had a remote control uh, skid loader. Guess what that, his name was? His name was Jamie, wasn't it? <laughs> yep. So, you know, because Jamie was, is the name of a hard worker. Or or Jamie is a name of something just pounds you right into the ground. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it was a remote control skid loader by the name of Jamie. Uh, Jamie uh, pounded these in the ground. It was that we got a little footage of it, um, which was pretty cool. Also, uh, as you guys saw at the beginning, uh, we had a, some. We also got some drone footage of it, which was actually our my very first time uh, using a drone. So that was actually pr pretty cool uh, process as well, being able to get some of that drone footage so you guys can see it. Something like this would have probably it took me months it took them less than uh two hours i would say um to uh knock all all these posts out and get us squared up get everything looking nice so we can come through and actually uh start the fencing process uh what we're going to be doing today is finishing up some h braces can go, come back through and actually put in our t posts and get this fence done before winter hit so i'm just going to give you guys a quick rundown of the actual paddock uh, my thought process um, and then we're going to show you how we're going to do these H braces. So the paddock itself is 100 by 103 feet. Um, the reason I chose that dimension um, is um, our this area here has a little caveat. It actually is a has a, our leach fill in it, so we want to if, avoid our leach fill. Um, and what that gave us, what that gave us, is about a, a little bit less than a quarter acre, I would say, of. Uh, grazing space here typically when you have large livestock uh, what you're going to do is a four to one uh, ratio for posts that means four t posts to one wood or steel post being that we have small goats we're just going to go strictly all t posts here um and i, I don't foresee us i don't foresee us having any problems uh with the goats uh knocking down the fence or anything like that because we're going to be driving these t posts roughly two feet into the ground and then our wooden posts are actually 44 inches, 44 inches into the ground. It's hard to show you guys at an eye level here, but this is going to be actually our southwest corner of our paddock. What we have here is a four, four foot door, and then we have two H braces here. Uh, then it goes north, and where we're going to have actually a 10 foot opening for a 10 foot gate. And the reason I chose a 10 foot goat gate is if we ever uh, graduate from Kubota Fred to a bigger tractor, that'll give us the ability to be able to bring that tractor in and out. And also if we decide we want to move things around like our, our, our bar, goat barn here, uh, we can do so. So as you can see here, uh, we already have done some H braces. Uh, this is our 10 foot opening here. Um, and with your H braces, you always want to have your support, your wire going down from uh, the opposite way of where you're pulling. So that's why you see our H brace look like this and everything's nice and snug. So once we get that fence on and we start pulling, we shouldn't have any issues here. Now down to the south end of our, of our paddock, same thing here, but we also have a six foot gate opening. And some of you guys might be saying, hey, Ryan, why so many uh, gates for a small paddock? It's just for convenience. I want to make sure I have enough, enough access points uh, to be able to get in. So what we're using here are 10 inch brace pins to run our H brace to the vertical post. What I'm gonna be doing is driving five inches into my vertical post and then five inches into my uh, H brace on the very first drill. So what I'm gonna do here is I like to mark the five inch mark on my drill bit and that just let me know when I have hit that mark. That way I don't over drill.
wire Jamie. This is the worst job ever. Well, having this. It's a pretty easy job when you do no, it the right not. way. It's the worst job. As you guys can look at our wire, this is what Jamie did to it. It's true. But it's the worst job ever. So if you're assigned that task and you're even an option to say no, I'd say no. I saw a guy he had trained his uh his uh orangutan to do this. <laughs> and the orangutan kept it even. Well thank you. So there is actually a tool that is meant for this wire that I later found out. And it is not called Jamie, it's called Jenny. So I would highly recommend if you're going to be working on your first fence project that you invest in one of those because this almost cost Ryan dearly and we went through so much wire. This fence project, uh, we had a few goes at it. Um, we're still actually working on it. But, um, you know, Ryan is very precise when it comes to working on, you know, his first project. And um, we measured out absolutely everything at least three times. I'm not kidding. He is um, somebody who wants it perfect. And he spends so much time trying to make it that way. Um, we, I had to measure the T-posts to make sure they were a certain size for him. And um, we did the straight line so we would get, you know, just a nice aesthetic. And I will say that that did actually work out pretty well running that straight line and then uh, putting the T-post up against it um, because it did get it pretty straight and um, it does it does look nice. Don't even get me started on this tool. Um, I think it's called a grapple, a grappler, whatever it's called. Dude. It is the most frustrating tool. I am sure 100% we're not using it right, but it took forever. And really what it is, is that we're trying to actually loosen up the, the fence, the uh, mesh wire, so it gives you more space, so you can wrap those wires around your posts. And then that little bracket that Ryan had, we had to order that. Um, but in actuality, that's way better than what we were doing before. And I just, it's a pretty handy dandy little bracket that tightens the fence and kind of holds it tight when you actually are rolling it and tightening it. And so this is what actually Ryan is doing right now is, um, I should have probably have been helping him, but I was holding the camera and um, <laughs> looking at this now, I'm like, oh gosh, I should have helped him. Um, but anyway, so he got it rolled out. And that is our, um, you know what people, I don't even know what the heck that's called. All I know is that he tightens that sucker up and there's two little handles on it that we hook the, uh, the chains to and then we pull it. Now, you will see right here. Matter of fact, this day, it was so cold this day, people. Like it was unbelievably cold. So sorry, I'm, I'm getting off track here. But anyways, it seemed like it took him forever, um, probably because my hands and my feet felt like they were going to fall because it was so cold. But he tightened up the chains and I'm gonna put his business out there because I told him that he did not put that bracket in the right spot. I told me to move it closer because it wasn't gonna get tight enough and it was gonna bunch. Guess what happened, people? Look at where he put that bracket and look at where he's tightening it, okay? And then on top of it, you see those hooks, where the hooks are, they actually, it's right, it's not even in the right spot for the fence. So what ended up happening is when he was tightening that fence, which granted he did the opposite side on his own and it looks fantastic, but this side gave him a little bit of run for his money because it started to bunch up. You see, now he's, see, now he's back. He's in different clothes. So that's, you guys know I'm telling you the truth here because it's a different day because he came back to it. It was the next day. And in Iowa, you can have a 30 degree day one day. The next day it's like 80. So that's what we dealt with. But see where it's all bunched up? And so he adjusted it so that way he it could actually be straight for him. And it actually turned out pretty well. But these little um, tightening rods, I don't know what the heck they're called, people, but you get the gist. You see the picture. But he actually was able to tighten it up. And Ryan did this by himself. Um, I was working on another project, but he actually, and I'm not kidding, I totally was working on another project. But he did this himself and if you look, I mean, he actually got it pretty stinking straight. So we only have one side left of this fence. Thank the, thank the Lord, people. Thank the Lord. But one side left. We ran out of fencing. If you see that there's fencing down um, at the base of that fence, we were going to use that. It was just some old fencing that was given to us. The problem is, is that there's like a bunch of holes in it and we didn't know it. So we had to go get another roll of fence. 
So we ended up getting, I think Ryan, it was like a four foot by 200 foot roll of fencing that actually did three sides for us. And so we just have one side left. And you guys heard Ryan, he like wanted to put all these gates in because Lord knows he just needs access to everything. So why not add a gate? We are almost done, people, we are almost done and I am, I cannot wait. We also just had our first uh, baby goats um, and unfortunately we lost one. So we have one female um, uh, baby goat that um, is doing really well. And so I'm looking forward to uh, utilizing this paddock. And you wanna know what else is pretty cool is that I can't wait to surround the outside of this paddock with benches so people can come and look, watch the goats and feed the goats and heck buy produce from us I mean why not so there is a vision for this property and I hope you guys stay tuned because we are absolutely 100% going to get there we can't wait to share the end result of this project coming up here really really soon for you folks so if you like what you see please remember to like share subscribe and tell a million friends too and you might need to save Ryan we'll catch you on the next one peace